ليس يتحسر أهل الجنة إلا على ساعة مرت بهم لم يذكر الله تعالى فيها رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said those who are admitted into paradise will not regret over anything of this world except the time spent without zikr in their life caused by the time spent without zikr as can be well imagined in this world there are such blessed persons in this world there are such blessed persons who would not relish this life if it were spent without the zikr of allah hafiz ibn hajar rahimahullah writes in his book munabbihat that yahya bin muaz radi rahimahullah used to say in his supplication إلهي لا يطيب الليل إلا بمناجاتك ولا يطيب النهار إلا بطاعتك ولا تطيب الدنيا إلا بذكرك ولا تطيب الآخرة إلا بعفوك ولا تطيب الجنة إلا برؤيتك O oh Allah the night is no good unless spent in communion with you The day is no good unless spent in worshiping you This life is no good without your zikr the next life will be no good without forgiveness from you and paradise will not be enjoyable without beholding you hazrat sirri rahimahullah says i saw jurjani swallowing roasted barley flour he told me that he had compared the time taken in chewing bread and in eating barley flour eating bread took so much longer that he could say subhanallah 70 times in that time therefore he had not taken bread for 40 years and had lived by swallowing barley flour alone it is said about mansur bin mu'tamar that he never spoke to anybody after isha prayers for 40 years similarly it is said about rabi' bin hatim that it was his practice for 20 years that he noted down what he talked during the day and would check at night whether that talking was necessary or not those pious scholars were particular that every moment of their life was spent in zikr and nothing else